Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thundermist Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thundermist Fishing Tips. We got a little bit of wind happening today, but that's okay. We're tucked away in some shelter here and we're gonna have a great day on the water. What I'm gonna be using today is a, uh, a teaser rig. So on one rig, what I've got is a bucktail. As you can see here, I've got a bucktail jig and then I've got the uh, Thundermist T-turn swivel, which is actually key here, and uh, a teaser. This is actually called uh, the Trembler. Big John tied these for me. He ties them special, and they're a fantastic, uh, fantastic fly to use as a teaser. And uh, the other way you could fish these is like this. Let's put that down. Is with a twister. Same, uh, same system. You've got your teaser up above, and I've got just a, uh, a twister tail on a jig down below there. And you can see there, what'll happen is, as you're jigging that along the bottom, it looks like one chasing another. And sometimes if the uh, bottom uh, jig doesn't get them, the top one will. And uh, honestly, sometimes it's 50-50 split. And the odd time, you even catch two at a time. So we're gonna give it a twirl today, folks. It's a great, uh, great system for many kinds, of, uh, many kinds of fish. It's very popular in salt water for fluke fishing, but it's great also in fresh water as well if you're fishing for bass. So stay tuned folks, today we're fishing salt water, we're sure to have a great time. Oh. <laughs> Honestly folks, first cast in. First cast, I thought I went with a, I'd go with a twister tail, and uh, he hit right away. I don't know what I got him on, the teaser or the, oh I got him on the twister. It's a weak fish. Small weak fish. Nice weak fish though. Come on Evo. Something small. Oh, you got him on the trembler. Did I? Yes. I can't, can't tell from the glare. You got him on the trembler, it's on the little small. teaser. Oh, it's a little, little It's snap. a little snapper, snapper blue. Snapper blue. Yeah, I got him on the upper one, yeah. Nice, little snapper blue. Feisty. <laughs> See that? The chasing it, the, sometimes the bottom one works, and other times the top one does. It's a great rig. We're taking turns, Phil. Got one? Yeah, he just went under the boat. Oh, it's a little weak fish, and he's on the Big John Trembler. There we go, the little teaser. Nice little weak fish right there. They're a beautiful fish. This one's a little undersized, though. So, back in he goes. Goodbye, Mr. Weak Fish. But yeah, this is just an absolute great rig. I'm running. I've got uh, 10 pound or a 20 pound uh, braided line and I like to use braided line when I'm jigging because it allows for more sensitivity and a great direct hook set. It's not like using a crankbait and uh, always, 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 I always run a fluorocarbon or a monofilament leader but my, my preferred is fluorocarbon and I've got a, a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader on here right now and again I'm just jigging this off the bottom. Uh, this teaser rig, like I say, a lot of people in salt water like to use them for, um, for fluke fishing. Myself, personally, when it comes to fluke, you can't beat the viper spoon. But this particular rig, though, is good for many, many types of uh, game fish. And you can see that T-turn swivel uh, as I was bringing that fish in. 100% tangle free all the time. And that's the beauty of the T-turn. And you could even, if you want, you could even tie two teasers on there at the same time. So a uh, good rig to use for many types of uh, different types of fishing, different types of game fish. I think you got a good one. I've seen it. I think it's a uh, weak trope. Nice weak fish? Yeah. So I'm gonna... There he is. Oh, that's a nice weak fish, Bill. That one might even measure. Nice. That's a nice fish. I got him on the uh, white twister tail. On the twister? Yeah. There we go. Here, Beautiful. I'll hand you the measuring stick. They got to be 16 inches, Phil. All right. You can dirty your seat up here, Eve. Oh, thanks a lot. That's where I got to sit. Yeah, he's 18. <laughs> How much? 18. Oh, beauty. That's a nice Georgia weak fish. fish so. Hey, isn't that nice? Very nice. Beautiful fish. They get bigger, but that's that's a dandy. Phil, I'm on two. You on two? Yep. Double header. Oh, I got a decent fish, well, I think. good timing. Oh, I just lost mine, Phil. Oh, it came off? No, no, he's swimming towards the boat. That's awesome. Let's see what I've got here. 
Oh, it's a small weak fish. I got a weak fish too, Phil. Yeah. Actually, he's not even edible, this guy. Oh, that's a nice one, Phil. Never mind. I think you'll measure it. Mine is smaller. Here he comes See. here. I got a little guy. I got a small one, Phil. Nice. Oh, they're almost twins. No, yours, yours is a keeper. I got mine on a white twister. You got yours on a twister. I just yeah. switched to the bucktail. Yeah. Just to see if it made any difference. And let me measure. You still got your teaser on top though, right? This one's close. I need the measuring stick. I think this one's close, Phil. Yeah. Yours I think will be will measure no problem. This one is 16, 16 inches. Holes. He's good. Okay. Keep. Yours will be a keeper for sure. That's about 16 and a, and a bit. And yours? Close the mouth. Yeah, he's 17. 17 inch? 17 inch. 16 and a half anyway. Well, it's a good one. 16, 16 and a half. And They're half. clones. So I switched. Uh, what I did, folks. Switched over to the bucktail. I missed two while you were reeling that one in, Phil, by the way. I know, I noticed. I heard you. And there's two different ways I like working these bucktails, and one of them is rip jigging, and if the fish are real aggressive, once it hits the bottom, just rip it back, take up the slack, let it go back down again. Rip it back, take up the slack, let it go back down again. And what'll happen is you'll feel either, oh, there's one there, Phil. Nice. Like I say, you'll feel a thunk or a tap, and when they're aggressive, that's what you get right there, folks. Another keeper weak. Oops. He better be a keeper. Uh, after that clunk. Okay. Take a look. Oh yeah, he's 17. Nice. Oh, almost released him again. He's still full of energy because I basically caught him right at the boat, but that's a nice little weak fish, 17 inch, on the rip jigging technique, folks, the rip jigging. When they're aggressive, it's very, very effective. When they're not aggressive, what I like to do is, is finesse them a little more. And I'll show you. With the finesse technique, it's, a, it's just a little bit different. You just slow it down a bit, but basically, once it hits bottom, wait for your jig to hit bottom, and then rather than rip jigging like that, and that rip jigging, that'll trigger a bite too. You just kind of lift it up, let it go down, take up the slack, nice and easy, and the, the finesse technique is better when the fish are less aggressive. If they're less aggressive and they're not so much on the bite, You'll find that this technique, nice and slow, just work it back, works very, very well. But when they're more aggressive, that rip jigging is just phenomenal. And uh, they like to see that, they like to see that movement, and they just attack that darting bait. You're on, Phil, eh? I'm on, Evo. See if I can pick one up too, maybe we'll get another get double another header. Good fish. Yeah, I'm just gonna watch this drift sock here. Yeah, we threw a drift sock out to slow us down a bit because the drift was way too fast. Oh, that's a nice weak fish, Phil. Yeah, white twister again. I'm sticking with the bucktail right now. Yeah. You stick with the twister. I'm I'm rip jigging right now. Oh, don't worry, I will stick with the twister. <laughs> <laughs> you like it, eh? Yeah, I do. Yeah, white is a great color too. There it's you so go. Water. Oh, I got one too, Phil. Do you? Oh, this is a good fish. <laughs> this is a good fish. This is crazy. Or at least he feels decent anyway. Okay. Well, <laughs> he hit hard anyway. Oh, it's a it's Oop, a nice weak fish. Oh, weaky, yeah. It is a nice weak fish. Nice. And he took the teaser. He did. Yes, he did. Just like that. One teaser rig weak fish just like that well folks I don't know we're having an outstanding day out here get yourself some t-turns look at this tangle free all the time they're the key tie on your favorite 
your favorite teaser rig. Uh, mine happens to be the Big John Trembler. I call this the Trembler teaser rig. And uh, but tick, put tie on your favorite fly, put on a bucktail or a twister, work it off the bottom, and have yourself a great day on the water. As always, folks, I want to thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And if you haven't yet, feel free to subscribe. We got a lot more fish catching action coming your way. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing.